Hey guys, this is Ian with Channel 2 Games, part of TV on YouTube. The Secret World has been out for about 3 weeks now. For those who are still kind of lost in the game or not sure of what the game is about, here's some background. The so-called factions are made up of 3 secret societies called the Templars, who are the Crusaders of Darkness, the Illuminati, who are supposedly invisible puppet masters and corporate manipulators, and finally the Dragons, who instigate change through quiet violence. The secret society that you choose doesn't really affect the skills or missions that you get. The only differences that I've come across are the background story cutscenes and the decks that are made available to each secret society. We will come to that later. The big thing about the secret world is that there are no levels in the game. It may feel a bit weird not seeing a number beside your name, but you kind of get used to it. So how do you know when to move on? Well, there's still an XP bar, and at the end of every full bar, you get more ability points and skill points. This is the ability wheel where you spend all your ability points. The nice thing about this is you are not limited to just one type of weapon. You can put points in any of these weapons, but you have to keep gaining XP and do more missions to get more ability points for more ability unlocks. So I would recommend that you stick to the weapon that you chose back in your faction city for a bit. Blades are awesome by the way. This is where you put in your skill points. Here, you can increase damage, survivability, heals, etc, etc. Just make sure it corresponds to the weapon that you've chosen on the ability wheel. It wouldn't really make sense if you have blades on the ability wheel, but you put points in blood magic, right? And here's the deck that I was talking about earlier. Decks are basically preset builds that you can use. You don't have to use them. They're only here to serve as a guide. To my knowledge, the decks or builds are different for each faction too. If you're unsure of how to use these features, just click on the question mark in the top right corner for an in-game video tutorial. One of the things that I like about the game is the investigation missions. Sometimes you have to google for answers, or try to solve problems from clues in game. Of course, these aren't the only type of missions in here. The box by the quest giver indicates the type of missions that you're looking at. There's story missions, action, obtaining items, investigation, sabotage, dungeon, and of course, PvP. One more thing, try to do the crafting missions in Kingsmouth Town. The first one is called Zen and the Art of Weapon Maintenance that you can get from Sandy Moose Jansen. The other one is The Occultist Cookbook from a book in Madame Roger's room. They're basically tutorials on how to craft weapons and glyphs. Don't worry, there's no grinding involved. You just need to have the right tools to craft the items. In the latest update, Funcom promises some pretty cool stuff. New mission packs every month, new weapons, new zones, improved character customization, improved cabal or guild functions, raids, pvp dungeon, dungeon finder, seasonal events, and of course, pets! Now that's a lot of new stuff to look forward to. The first update is due on Tuesday, July 31st. Check the description for more info and stay tuned to Channel 2 Games for more on The Secret World. Thank you for watching!